Back in 2013, the IEM Global Challenge Katowice was the largest intercontinental, unofficial League of Legends tournament in the entire world. Teams flocked from all around the world to prove that they were the best of the best, so the competition was undeniably tough and appropriately epic. This is the story of how one player single-handedly snatched victory from the jaws of defeat and the legendary play that would go down in League of Legends history. Teams Fnatic and SK Gaming have a rivalry that spans years and even games. So perhaps it was fate when the two met up in the group stage of the 2013 Katowice, with the winner of the best of one match moving on to the semifinals. The team's mid laners, Fnatic's ex Peke and SK's Ocelot, were themselves rivals, adding even more heat to the already simmering tensions. The win was at SK's back early on, as strong tower pressure and opportunistic kills allowed them to press into Fnatic's territory uncontested. Fnatic stayed in the game by stealing a few dragons and answering back with tower kills on their own. But by the match's midpoint, it was clear that SK was in full control of the tempo. Content with taking down the third and final remaining in the turrets. We are actually going to see here Soaz getting ignited up by Ocelot, and that will be just enough for SK to force Fnatic away from it and pick up turret number six of the game. Just wondering if they're going to... Perhaps the success made SK a little too bold, however, as an over-aggressive push into Fnatic's base left them three members down with little to show for their efforts. Real key from this when you've got to try and hang on, but SK actually just turning around, going back up towards that base, the region that they get from that Baron buff, certainly helping them out with that one. Okay, not quite being knocked up. Here comes a home guard. Ramos rolling in there. Also, he's taunted. He goes down. Kevin's not very healthy. Cyanide taking a lot of damage, but Soas jumps in the middle. Ooh. Candy Partner is low. Can they finish him up? Yes, yeah, flashing from Yellow Star. Can they get any more? Peke will come in as well. Hercu bombing chase down. Not sure that Nif will be able to escape this one. One more order attack or a built up a peacemaker will do it and that seizing the opportunity Fnatic leveraged their newfound momentum to seize both an inhibitor and baron unfortunately the team realized too late that they had themselves overextended. SK caught two of Fnatic's members before they could escape, changing the tides yet again and steamrolling through the enemy base to take down two inhibitors. In doing so, they left their own base unguarded, which gave Fnatic the chance to push all the way to their nexus. Six seconds for Ocelot, 20 seconds for Candy Panda. They are gonna be going for this one. It's Yellow Star hammering away. XBK is there as well. There is a first nexus, sorry, taken down. Second one's gonna be focused. Can they finish off the nexus? This is close stuff. Eight seconds for Candy Panda. But before things could seesaw yet again, a valiant defense led by Ocelot forced Fnatic out and left them too wounded to counter SK's golden opportunity for an endgame play. The match hinged on one fateful decision. Driven back into the jungle with his teammates on the run, ex Peke's Cassidy opted to not join them in defending their base. Rather, he teleported back into SK's now unguarded base, intent on finishing things once and for all. He's trying to do it, but meanwhile they're in the base. Yellow Star's trying to defend them in the base. Peke's trying to take the Nexus down. Is anyone going to get out to deal with this one? Catches him with another X. He's very low on that. Though Fnatic would go on to lose their semi-final match against Azubu Blaze, Xpeke's stunning mix of luck, skill and determination is still recognized as perhaps the most impressive play in League of Legends history. The community even opts to nickname any gutsy backdoor play a Peke in his honor, cementing his legacy even more than half a decade later.